we just attack all. We don't even need our vehicles. Yo! Oh my god, really? They do have one more card draw, yeah, of course. How come I don't get the people who give up so easily? <laughs> Your hand and shuffle, so it's just the planes. Yes! We don't even need our vehicles, just attack with what we have on the field. Oh man! Wow! Hey everyone, what's up, what's going on? My name's Kyle, thank you for stopping by to check out my video here on Arena Hacks. Today, um, we're looking at vehicles in the new set, uh, Kamigawa Asian, not Asian, Neon Dynasties, it's an Asian set, <laughs> Neon Dynasty is what it's called. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of vehicles in this set, so it's really cool. Um, well, I mean, it can be cool if you put them together right. Uh, I had a frustrating day leading up to this, try, experimenting with a different deck, you'll hear about it in, in the games I play. Um, so yes, I do get frustrated. <laughs> I get frustrated easily during this game. Uh, it is pretty rough though. My opponents do get everything, <laughs> and uh, I do pretty decent though with it. Uh, I'm only showing three games, but out of the four, I only had a 50% win rate. Uh, I just they lasted really long, so I'm not including all four of them. <laughs> yeah, just the two wins and one of the losses because it was just ridiculous. So <laughs> really fast, really short. Uh, so it makes the cut. But uh, I don't know why it's bad. We got lots of stuff to crew our vehicles. Lots of vehicles. Good vehicles. We'll get to those in a second. Uh, we got Hot Shot Mechanic here, who is just super awesome. Really aggro. One mana, two one is always a uh, good aggro. Gets <laughs> gets you a good start. It's also a great creature for crewing vehicles because he's very, for his mana cost, uh, he can crew with a power of two. But wait, he has this ability. He can crew for two greater than his power. Which means he's a one mana who can crew for four. And we have no vehicle in this deck that needs higher crew has a with a, blah, with a higher crew cost than four. So this guy can literally crew everything in our deck, every vehicle in our deck. The next one up here, like, and this is why I get so confusing. Why I'm just struggle so much. Why we're sp I think it was just bad day, bad luck. But anyways, Cathar Commando, a two drop with that is a three one, so we can crew at least fifty percent of the vehicles in this deck alone, single handedly. Uh, which is great for two mana. That three power, one toughness is just, it, it's really good for all that whole aggro. Punch him in there, again, crewing. But wait, it's flash, and we have this ability for one mana and sacrifice the Cathar Commando. Doesn't matter whether it's tapped or anything, we don't have to tap it. So we just pay one mana, whoop, pay one mana, <laughs> sacrifice it, and now we can destroy an artifact or an enchantment, uh, target artifact or enchantment. So we're destroying one of our opponent's stuff. So we've got lots of other forms of removal with four copies of Brutal Cathar so we can take care of their creatures, exile their creatures, Skyclave Apparition so we can, any non-land permanent for four or less, we can get rid of it. Whether it's Planeswalkers or more enchantments or more artifacts, we can get rid of them with the Skyclave Apparitions. These guys aren't the best for crewing, but with two power each, they're not bad little guys to crew just as good as the Asikis Cats, right? They get their two twos, they can crew vehicles, two of them together. You can crew lots of stuff with these two guys here. We've also got a Sickest Chariot for the Splash of Green as one of our vehicles because, um, yeah, I've already covered all the uh, creatures already. I think that is all the actual creatures. Um, but we got a Sickest Chariot, which gives us two, two twos when it enters the battlefield, so that's really nice. Um, so we've got those two little uh, kitties right there that can crew our vehicles, and the two of them together can crew for four, which is anything we got. We also got the Surge Hacker Mech here, which uh, also crews for four. It's a five, mo five, five with for four colorless mana. Really cool, really good value with Menace too, which is really awesome. Harder for our opponents to block. Uh, when this guy enters the battlefield though, he deals damage equal to twice the number of vehicles we have. Now that includes himself, the Surge Hacker Mech, excuse me. When it enters the battlefield, it is a vehicle on the battlefield under our control, so it counts, right? So if we have one other vehicle plus him, and it's twice the number of vehicles, that's four damage when we play him for four mana to a uh, creature or planeswalker, which, yeah, as long as we have one other vehicle when we play him, four damage, that will take down most planeswalkers and or creatures. And as soon as we have an additional uh, vehicle on the battlefield, now we're doing six damage total. That's really powerful. 
Uh, so that's a great guy to get down um, just to do that effect and do that damage. And then afterwards, we've got the 5-5 five, five Menace that crews for 4, so that's really cool there. Uh, we keep flooding the battlefield with Prodigy's prototype here. Uh, we, Whenever a vehicle, one or more vehicles, we control attack. So just any vehicle, one or more attacks. If we have two prototypes, then we do this. Tr we get this trigger twice. But for the most part, it's just triggering once per turn. Um, and uh, we basically create that pilot token there, which much like has the same ability as the hotshot mechanic, except it's a one one, so it powers for three or it crews for three, which again is at least fifty percent of our vehicles. This one here crews for two. Actually, I think more than slightly more than fifty percent of our vehicles. Yes, yeah, six, eight vehicles crew for two or less, or for three or less, and then five vehicles crew for four, and then. What did I say? Was <laughs> yeah, eight. Yeah, eight for three or less. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's what the pilot does. That's what the Prodigy prototype does. It gets us more pilots whenever we attack with any vehicle. It doesn't have to be the prototype, which is where the mobilizer mech comes in handy because it's got flying. A two-mana 3-4 with flying that crews for three. So the pilots, those pilot tokens, can crew this mobilizer mech. But wait, there's more. When the mobilizer mech gets activated, only when it gets crewed, so be careful. There are other ways we have of activating our vehicles without crewing them, using creatures to crew them. If you read this card, only when it is crewed do you get to have another vehicle become a uh, artifact creature until end of turn. And if you like the read the way his ability works, that's one of the abilities we have of activating our vehicles without crewing them, right? Is the mobilizer mech itself. So if we have a mobilizer mech, we crew it, and that mobilizer mech activates another mobilizer mech that we have, that mobilizer mech does not activate the next vehicle that we have because it's not actually being crewed. It's just being activated by the first mobilizer mech, right? So you have to understand that. We also have uh, Mech Hanger Bay, or the Mech Hanger. We'll get back to that in a little while. It just has a way in it. Actually, you know what? It, just let, let's look at it now. It creates mana of any color that we need for our vehicles or pilots, uh, which we don't have a lot of pilots, just this guy here. The rest are all vehicles. So it does help with our Sickest Chariot because uh, it can be used to add green mana. Otherwise, it just adds colorless mana. And uh, for three mana, other mana, plus we tap the Hanger Bay or the Mech Hanger. I don't know why I call it Hanger Bay. We get to then activate one of our creature target or our vehicles get activated and becomes a creature until end of turn. So that doesn't count as crewing though, right? It's just an outside effect. Much like the mobilizer mech, it's an outside effect that's activating it, not actually being crewed. Um, so where was I now? And let's get to this. I think is the last of the vehicles that I have in here that I haven't touched on yet is the Reckoner Bankbuster. And you could probably drop some of the counter spells I have in here and uh, just increase these guys because they're really awesome. Two mana for a 4-4 four, four, that crews for three is actually really good value because it's pretty easy to crew this by your third turn and then be it swinging in for four, which is really cool. And uh, if we have no good attacks or, I don't know, whatever, maybe we're using it as blocking. Um, we get, It has summoning sickness, so... No, that won't work, because if, if we make it a creature, we can't tap it for its own ability then, because it'll have summoning sickness. If it's a non-creature artifact, we can tap it for that ability. <laughs> um, the, this ability here, which I didn't explain, which is play two or tap, pay two mana, tap the Reckoner Bankbuster, and you remove a charge counter from it, enters with three charges, forgot to mention that, uh, and then you remove one of those, draw a card. And then if there are, if, then if there are no more uh, charge counters on it, then you create a treasure token, a 1-1 the colorless pilot creature token that we kept, talked about before. It has that uh, ability to, there it is, the pilot right there, the ability to do crew for two greater than its power. So getting more of those things, getting more card draw is really what this would be good for because like I said, the other um, things we have in here, the things that we could swap out to increase this would be our counter spells. Not these two, the disruption protocol, they're pretty good. Two blue mana, we can counter just any spell straight up. All we have to do uh, to not pay that third colorless uh, is to tap a untapped artifact that we control. Since we have a lot of vehicles, we just have to find one that we're okay tapping. Or maybe if it's during combat and we've already declared blocking with the vehicle, and then they're trying to like, I don't know, snakeskin veil their creature so it can tangle with our creature a little better, or our vehicle a little better. We can then tap that vehicle to play a disruption protocol for two mana and uh, counter that spell. So. 
I like the disruption protocol. I think it stays. I think it's the negate and the reject that I put in here, the one ofs, the two one ofs that I put in here. Those can both go for two more Reckoner bank busters, but I'm going to leave it this way for the video because that's what I have in the game, and I do use negate at least once or twice. So, um, yeah, there's everything there. Three copies of Doomscar because a lot of our creatures are vehicles and they won't be creatures most of the time they're just artifacts so we shoot the whole board wipe the whole board if we're just not in a good position we have no good attacks our opponents maybe mono green or gruel and just got way more powerful creatures than we do so we sweep the board clean it all up and then we use something like mech hanger bay turn on one of our guys we have a prodigy prototype out there we start creating pilot tokens that start accruing the vehicles even more after that generating more pilot tokens maybe we find a sickest chariot get some cats copy the cats copy the pilot tokens with the chariot like all kinds of neat shenanigans we can do there um, you know, if they start coming back after the board wipe, we can play our Skyclave Apparition, our Brutal Cathars, even our uh, Surge Hacker mechs, and uh, just keep getting all those creatures and all those other things they play. Just keep dealing with them. 16 creatures is what we have in the deck to 20 non-creatures. 13 of those are vehicles, lots of vehicles. So those are all somewhat creatures. They count as creatures, kind of. Um, they do count as non-creatures, just the spells themselves, but they're kind of like creatures because we do use them as creatures in this. Just the three uh, green here for the uh, Sickest Chariot. Other than that, we have about half the amount of blue we do white. And I did mention those two counter spells that we can drop for some more colorless. Uh, I forgot to actually look at that. Only four colorless, really? I thought there was more than that. I guess this is colored. This is called They're artifacts. They're vehicles, but they, they have color. This is multicolored. This is blue. Right, right. Okay. Uh, you know, even one of these, we can drop these two uh, counter spells for one more bank buster and maybe one more mobilizer mech. They're really good. Like the, the free crewing of another vehicle is really cool. Um, it can turn these uh, four mana crews into free crews, right? Or three mana, or three mana, three, just crew three, the, the number, right? Because we can crew this when it comes alive, it brings one of these guys up and then we can crew another me mech for three, bringing these guys up, which is really cool. So. You got a lot of fun shenanigans like that. We have lots of things to handle, all kinds of things our opponent throws us from aggro to a whole bunch of other stuff, planeswalkers, creatures, you know, enchantments, artifacts, you know, it's like counter spells. Like we got lots of ways to deal with stuff in here. Um, so uh, I, let's go look at those games. Um, before we do go look at those games though, remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, just do all that stuff. Comment to uh, support and show your support. It's awesome. It really does help. It honestly does. So please do that. Um, and uh, please be forgiving. Like I said, I had a rough day leading up to these games, even though it's a 50% win rate, which isn't that bad. It, uh, it was still frustrating. The wins, even the wins were frustrating. So please bear with me. Hopefully you get a laugh and a kick out of my frustration, or you can at least relate or something like that. So uh, without further, further ado, let's get to them. Ugh, this is pretty gross. One of our few most expensive uh, thingies here. No white mana for this. Ugh. Wow. I guess it doesn't matter what deck I'm playing today, I'm just not getting shuffling. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. I guess try it, like... Can't keep mulliganing all the time. That's just ridiculous. Wow, man. <laughs> just can't believe how bad this Rakdos artifact deck I was trying to do. No excuse for that bat poor shuffling. Like, amazing. Okay, I was like, what are you doing? I guess, yeah, it always, the game holds up priority for that kind of thing. Which is weird. It shouldn't do that. You cast an enchantment spell, put a plus one plus encounter on this guy at the battle. Okay, yeah, it's this creature, yeah. Beginning of your end step, if an enchantment was put into your graveyard from the battlefield this turn, you may return this guy from your graveyard to your hand. That's annoying. Ugh, oh, itchy. Hit your nose. Two mana, we can exile that thing. Let's get rid of it. It's got recursion, graveyard recursion in it, so. We got some aggression right here as well. 
This thing can be, if we have one mana available, we can sacrifice it, pay one and sacrifice. It doesn't matter if it's tapped or not. And we can uh, destroy artifact or enchantment, I believe. Yeah, artifact or enchantment. Good stuff. Try to get this foretold. Uh, I would like to get this out. We can't attack with it, though. Ugh. We need to get it out, have it sit for a turn, and then that way it loses summoning sickness, and then we can attack with it. And if they destroy this in the process, we can play this after. And if it has summoning sickness, then it's not a big deal. It can still crew. We can play this and just use it as a defender. It crews for two, so we can actually still attack with this guy. Or not. <sighs> this is bad, though. <clears throat> just end the turn here and hope they don't just continuously have all the answers. I'm getting so sick of that today. Really, really getting sick of that. Because you know I have four Brutal Cathars and three additional Skyclave Apparitions and two additional Doom Scars. It makes sense why my opponent would get all the answers to everything I play, but I don't. And shit like this. Wow, that's pathetic. Here you go, opponent. Here's the game handed to you on a silver platter. Don't think, don't worry about anything, ever. Don't worry. Here you go, God. I'm so sick of this. Just went through this all damn day, and here we go. Like, are you kidding me, Shuffler? Come on. Like, this is... Ho what am I supposed to say about this? Like, what the hell? Like, what the friggin' hell? What the goddamn hell? Are you friggin' kidding me? Still getting fucked in the ass for mana. Like, oh my god, unbelievable. Here, let's get the mechanic, uh, mechanic out. Use the mechanic to crew this guy. Or do we use this guy... Doesn't matter. Why use him as a blocker? Why bother? <clears throat> yeah, these are the guys we want to use as blockers. Chump blockers and such. <sighs> Gotta be careful about the Doom Scar. This will become a creature eventually, right? Yeah. Try to hold that Doom Scar for after they this thing becomes a creature. Hopefully they play out more creatures and we can survive till we cast it. Oh yeah. And they're still getting a 2-2 two -two out of the deal. Well, I could chump block with it at some point too. If they play more creatures. They get their token out of it, and then I Doom Scar. All their stuff plus the token, but I really want to wait for this enchantment to uh, become a creature. <clears throat> Are they attacking? They get a 2 2 to attack with next turn. I say we draw, block the 6 damage. Yeah, chump block here. We have to survive one more turn. Gotta be kidding me with this shit. Come on. Like, holy crap. I don't even want to count the lands. There's enough in here. This is pathetic. After the day I had of switching decks now to try and see if I can get things better, and this is horse's ass, man. Come on, Shuffler. Like, it couldn't be more obvious just how, like, how absolutely set up this all is. Like, couldn't be more obvious. <clears throat> like, what would anybody believe about this? Seriously. Holy crap. So we still only have two blockers next turn. That's not too bad, I guess. Play this for another blocker. But I do want to board wipe. I want to save this guy post board wipe. I say we get this down. can be crewed by the uh, token here. It needs, yeah, it only needs three to crew, so. 
creature doesn't have flying or trample or anything, does it? No. Okay, good. Can't believe the absolute horrendousness of the shuffling today. Three lands again. Clumping my lands, and it's pretty consistent at keeping all those lands away from the top. Pretty dang consistent. Yeah, so that thing's gonna get huge. Yeah. So they declare attacks. I think we chump block the big 7-7 seven seven with the Skyclave, and then we use this to crew the other thing to kill their 3-3. Three three. But they pulled that back. Each artifact or enchantment you control. This guy will only be a 2-2 two two then, unless they get more artifacts or enchantments. <coughs> this might not be bad. This card for this deck. We do have a lot of white. The more vehicles we play, the bigger this guy can crew for. So they're attacking here. They probably, I hope they don't have some way of their 3-3 dealing with my 4-4 here. We can just chump both of them, maybe. Uh, or do we crew this? They hesitated on the attack. I think they're bluffing. Knowing my luck, they're not. They hesitated on attack. What was that, a big act? Probably was. Because, you know, people are that big brain and platinum. Oh, no, now they have instant speed. Oops. Oops what, me? Or oops you? Or oops, I should have crewed with this, because this guy can't crew this guy if you read the crew cost. <laughs> Is that what he's oopsing? I don't know. Our vehicle goes back to a non-creature artifact, and we better get a goddamn land. Are you kidding me? Wow. That's just bullshit. Have to cast it. Have literally have absolutely no choice. And here they go, just play everything out and they just explode like that again. I can't believe how perfect. I stop being can't be positive. Like I just can't. Like not with the day I've had. Yeah, of course. What did like, yeah, let's just play some amazing, great cards. Why not? <laughs> All right, well, we can do Mechanic, or we can do Cathar, power up this thing. We get to exile something as well. Maybe this Cami thing. I really want to get the card draw. This is getting disgusting, the lack of lands. How deep can we go? Wow, 13 cards, 3 lands. Mm-hmm. That sounds balanced. Real freaking balanced. Hmm. Maybe we go Mobilizer Mech and Hotshot Mechanic for defensive, but do they get to do this again? No. They're just getting this guy who's going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 4. Get mobilizer mech down. Hot shot mechanic. End turn. Play defensively. We can use the hot shot mechanic to wake up the mobilizer mech for de defense. And the mobilizer mech will also bring one of my other two artifacts alive for also defense. All with the hot shot mechanic. <laughs> That's where the mobilizer mech is good. As soon as you crew it, yeah, the. Uh, Plus one, plus one. Yeah, that's what they deserve. That's what they need right now. Like, come on, game. Come on. Like, I can't believe how much more, like, can I get all of my Brutal Cathars and Doomsguard? Come on, man. Can you just give me all the cards in this deck that shuts them down? Like, multiple cards of exactly what they need. Like, I can't believe it. Just all of them. Multiples of every single one that they need. Like, here, here, this guy here. Where was the other one? Exiled. I exiled it right here. Right? Like, fuck. When is the shuffler ever gonna actually follow the rules and laws of reality? Like, just true statistics. When you have more of something in a deck, you draw it more. When you have less, you draw it less. 
Not in this program, though. No way, no how. This is ridiculous. It's like, what the hell? Absolute perfection. Absolute perfection. And there's nothing I can do about any of it. Can double block it and lose two of my creatures, which would be absolutely insa absolute insanity. Completely unfair. I'll lose one of my creatures. Okay, they do go for it. Which two creatures do we go for? I want this for more creatures. I guess we go this guy. Cancel. Go to blockers now. They're probably going to shoot down my... This one, the rare. Or they'll do it, kill it instead. I need this for getting more creature tokens. What is it? I need a thing to attack, right? A vehicle attack. <sighs> Come on. Lands, are you? There's no way we're winning this. They have just had way too long everything that they want every single way they want it. They've had way too long to just have it all. Way too long. Like, what the hell? What the frig? <sighs> Here, let's crew with this guy. Don't worry about waking the other one up. Just get an attack so we can trigger this and get another token. We need to defend as much as possible, like, until we get that other land. What are we at now? 14 cards deep. No, sorry. Yes, 14 cards deep. And still only three lands. What are, absolutely, what are my percentages for drawing lands? Ridiculously high. <laughs> and I just, <laughs> every land I don't, Every card I draw that's not a land, the odds of drawing a land get higher, yet I still somehow not draw them. That sounds realistic. Good shuffler, guys. I'm going to do nothing but bash a shuffler today. After that horrendous BS I just went through with my Rakdos deck, like, no. That is absolutely unacceptable in every way, shape, or form. So what, now I wake up one of my blockers and they just kill it. I wake up this to block with it, and what, they have some way of killing it? They have something. Of course they do. I still can't cast the one thing that would just be amazing right now. Four damage to any target. I wonder if it's going to be too late. It, guess what? It probably is. Almost definitely it is. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Well, let's play it. Shoot down one of their guys here. Everybody gets weaker. We get no triggers from attacking. Finally, that guy's out of cards. And we just end turn. I thought we exiled one. I don't know, we exiled this. How did the other one die? Oh yeah, we double blocked it before. How does this thing get counters whenever enchantment is put into... Cast an enchantment spell, it gets a counter. Same with this thing, right? Cast an enchantment spell. How is he putting a counter on that? How did he just put a counter on this creature, though? Oh, this guy puts it on any other creature, not himself. Okay, makes sense. Hmm. 
You may cast two spells, thank you. Let's grab that thing now. Should have maybe grabbed this, because it's getting every making everybody bigger, but... Oh, that has flash. Ooh. I just wanted it for uh, crewing, though. What? Really? I thought they had that for sure. What the heck were we going to do? We were on the back foot. They were out of cards. That could have been frustrating them. They had no cards. This thing's now exiled. So if they have no answers. But man, like they had still had more powerful of a board. We're at 7 health. They shouldn't have gave up. I don't think they should have gave up there. Frig. My game was just given to them. How long on 3 lands? Like, come on. That is a really shitty start. No vehicles. No, uh, got removal, but like no nothing early game. Like, I'm doing nothing for so long. Not much better. That's actually no better. I either foretell on the second turn or hold up the gate, which I probably won't be able to get. Like, now I have to get rid of a card. Different cards, pretty much the exact same start as that last hand, though. Oh, I'm just gonna... I don't care how... I'm gonna be just complaining about the shuffler all day today. I am so sick of how much I've gone through already today, and I'm trying to get a video done, and this program is just clearly not letting me win today. Not letting me have a fair game. I get wins here and there, but very few and far between, and no. Like, it's just... No. Not real cards. Like, yeah, if I didn't have to throw away a one, this would be a keepable hand, maybe. You know, maybe it is. We throw away negate. I doubt I'm going to do anything with it. Throw away negate. We can save up. Hopefully we get one more mana of the color we have most abundant in this deck, a.k.a. white. So that by our third turn, we can actually cast a Doom Scar if they're aggro, which does not look like they are. Oh, yeah. One of our most expensive equipment, you know, because, or, uh, vehicles. You know, I don't have any two-mana vehicles in the entire deck whatsoever. Not a single one, apparently. <sighs> I'm really getting sick and tired of the shuffler today. Like, I'm just not gonna, not gonna, a whole video is gonna just bash, I'm gonna bash Wizards of the Coast and their programmers. No offense to them or anything, but, yeah, no. When you do this crap, yeah. How can I? How can I be any other way? How can I? <laughs> how can I be optimistic about anything? Like, just all that crap. Everything I just put up with my Rakdos deck. Like, come on. Like, literally denying cards one turn to one turn too late, and then giving me a slow out. Oh, you know what? It's not that bad. We can exile Edgar. Get rid of that thing. We can use our dude to crew this because this is crew two. <laughs> Attack in. Get ourselves a token. Seems like a pretty good turn. I'm so mad. I don't care, though. I don't care that we're still doing good. Like, this shuffling is unacceptable. Like, are you kidding me? That horrible hand we had to mulligan. Then this crap. Like, holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. There we go. See what I mean? There just goes everything we have. And nothing of theirs. Yeah. And we still can't cast our Doom Scar. You know, why would we be able to? Why should we be able to? What's up? Keep fondling your meat hook? Oh. Uh, ah. This will do four damage to something. Going for Edgar would be stupid. This guy's going to start pumping up spear tokens as well. Maybe we go that way. We hope to get another white source next turn. So that we can Doomscar. Maybe. Never mind. They just get it all. Nothing we do ever matters. <laughs> wow. That's just friggin' ridiculous. 
We can do this, get a couple of cats that can crew this thing. Attack Lolf with Menace, they have to double block. Or we can go with some of these things. Maybe go with the mechanic. The mechanic can crew this. And we'll get another token. Let's try that. Go for Lol. Get another token. We have to double block. Not enough to kill our thing. Unless they have some instant speed spell, which it looks like they... Oh no, it's just triggers. Trigger, 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 trigger. A gift in exchange for we can play this and sacrifice it right away for the meat hook. Ooh, I don't know. It's just end turn. It does have flash, so we can do it anytime we want. They're going card draw, so they want to keep their Lolth. They don't want to sacrifice it for uh, creatures. The attack with Edgar, we just chump block with our little dude over here. Do we throw our commando at their meat hook, though? I think we do. Just looking around because my music stopped. I'm like, why is my music stopped? Something wrong with the internet? I'm still playing the game, so clearly not. Um, let that go. Oh, right, yeah, we want to use this. Whoops. Oh, well, they get one more trigger. Whoops. Yeah, two more triggers, actually. That's, I was supposed to do that. The distraction by my music, it distracted the order of which I wanted to do things. <laughs> they should have only gotten one additional meat hook trigger there, not two. Oh yeah, and they play that intentionally to get the coffin and get Wolf up a point. But they cannot block my menace thing down here. That's going to take all the mana. Do we go mobilizer? I think so. Let's go like this. Tap our mechanic here. Hit their Lolf. Unless they have the perfect kind of... They have something. That's worrying. That's scaring the crap out of me. Here they go. Now they shoot it down with something, right? They clearly have something. This goes for Lolf. We get another little creature dude here. And the important thing here is this pilot token is able to crew the mobilizer mech. The and the abyss. reason why that's important, we play the mobilizer mech for defense. And now we can crew our mobilizer mech and get both our, of our two remaining vehicles. We'll both activate <clears throat> and we'll become blockers. Except we won't be able to safely block Edgar, which is kind of annoying. So we go for our mech hanger. Um, that's not the biggest deal in the world. Do we, is there anything we can do with it? Color spend this pilot? No, I guess we just let it go. We can tap it for colorless. I don't know what that's going to do, though. We don't really need mana for anything. Might as well just let it go. We have been wanting that extra white source because we still can't cast our Doomscar. So, them doing the Field of Ruin. Come on. Let me... I clicked on a planes like three times there. Come on, game program. Let me select the plane. Look at that. It's clearly rigged. See, now it's trying to deny... Not let me choose the mana that I need to cast this spell. Right? See? It's rigged. It's totally fucking rigged. <laughs> You wouldn't even let me click it. Okay. Nice. 
Another mana is very nice. We can start flooding with these guys here. We can get rid of one Edgar. If we kill this Edgar and it becomes a coffin, the coffin is also legendary and they'll have to lose one. So one will go to the graveyard and then they'll, they won't be able to do this cycle back and forth between them kind of thing. So I think we mobilize our mech and attack with Surge Hacker as well. So you can get rid of one of their, uh, one of their Edgars. Let's play this out first. That way we get two of these tokens when we attack, because we're attacking with both. Oh, no, no, we want to go to attack. Yes. There we go. You and you. Now we get double tokens. Here we go. Here's what I wanted this deck to work. Lots of little tokens that we're just flooding with. They're chump blockers. We attack with flying things here. Do stuff like this. We lose our surge hacker, but... His thing is mostly uh, enter. I guess you can't see all of this here now. <laughs> His thing is mostly enters the battlefield, deals damage, and then it's just a 5-5 five, five menace vehicle. So now one of these has to go, right? And it goes in their graveyard. Otherwise, whenever this transforms back into Edgar, the other Edgar, you, they pick one to stay, the other one dies and transforms into the coffin, and then they go back and forth, back and forth, right? Now that one of them's dead, oh, they do their own Doomscar. Of course they do. Well, there's no point in waking up creatures. Oh, and they just get another Edgar. Okay, no worries, no problem. No problems, it's all good. Brutal Cathar is pretty brutal, though. Do we do it now? I don't want to attack with one of these guys. I say we play it. Attacking with this guy would be elite, or would just he would just die. Um, no, submit zero. We don't need anything else. We just want the flying. Double triggers here. More tokens. See, here's where they do that switch back and forth thing again. Dang it. I just realized now for we should have before doing our chariot we should have cast our doom scar because then we can chariot and we get these things to crew vehicles which then start getting more of these things and we start getting our, our creatures that we crew our vehicles with start coming back what is that minus two yes so we use this to activate these first so they don't have any good attacks This guy won't die. Yeah, let it go, I guess. Take a bit of damage here. They have no cards left. It's just insanely ridiculous that they just keep getting everything. That's pretty good. That's actually really good, because now we can use it to activate something. Get some creature tokens and whatnot. But we might want to just Doomscar this guy, then they get two coffins. One coffin has to go. And then they just get little creatures over and over. And then when Edgar comes back, we have an exile for him. Ah, oh, but we won't be able to Doomscar and do this. I want to do this because I want to attack and get some stuff. Let's do this. Auto order, turn off. Let's get some damage in there. That is the correct order. We want to create tokens first. Oh, they still don't get to do the thing, though. Chump blockers, though, for Edgar and other things. 
We're on a day-night cycle. Oh yeah, I must. I played a brutal Cathar earlier, didn't I? Wow. Okay. Here they come with Edgar. Not surprised. When do we play this Doomscar? We can play it now and still use the mech hanger to wake up something. The sickest chariot, I guess. Sure. We're just losing all kinds of life to their meat hook, though. And the reason we go Chariot is because it does more damage than any of these other vehicles. If we use the mech hanger for... Oh, but of course they just have it all anyway, so it doesn't... Nothing ever matters. Don't worry about it. Nothing ever matters. If we use the mech hanger on the mobilizer, it doesn't work. The mobilizer reads, it has to be crewed. This is not crewing it, it's just another effect that does its thing. But anyways, we still have a way of crewing something. Actually, we can crew mobilizer. because uh, I forgot that he was on that side. So we can attack with two things. They can block one, but whatever. It's still, we're being aggro here. Still have chump blockers. Ah, that stupid meat hook though is what's killing us. Do I not have any more Skyclave apparitions? Oh, I haven't seen any of this game at all. Just one blue, two brutal Cathars and one Doomscar. I do have more Doomscars though. More of basically everything. So let's see, do they keep attacking with Edgar or not? No, they just draw everything they need all the time. Why would they ever get anything else? Edgar will become a 1-1, but if we trade with it, they just get the coffin back. It's only one damage. We can still use the mech hanger. Actually, we can use the mech hanger. But they're still going to kill us with meat hook. Yeah, they just, they're highlighting mech hanger now. They're not attacking yet. They figured it out. Wow. That is absolutely unbelievable. How come they're just constantly, they've been top decking for how long now? And we just keep getting lands and bullshit. And they just keep getting everything. I'm really sick of this game. Like, this has been going on all day with multiple decks. Stop it. Like, when am I going to get a fair game? Like, there's no way this should be going. Like, come on. I know we're up against a good deck, but look at the three Edgars. Like, freaking goddamn Vanishing Verse exactly when they need. Yeah, that's how cards work. Just trust that you're going to draw everything you need exactly when you need it. That's how you be good at the game. Just make sure you always draw everything you need all the time. Easy. And then you win. No problem, right? So this gains them life. But we have to try to stop them somehow. Like, we have to. We have to block the damage. Thank God, finally. Oh man, I keep forgetting it's not daytime. Oh well. Not the worst thing. We can still use it for crewing. I still have a chump blocker here. And yes, we'll wake this up because we get damage in. Not with this because we want it for chump blocking. I know we're getting two more, but we want lots of little blockers. Look, their health total's finally getting close to ours. Yes, it's a non-creature spell. Get rid of a one of in the deck. And I get it when I need it. Oh my god, of all the complaining I've done today about my opponents getting that. Yeah, see, that's what you do. You put one of of everything. I should just switch back to Commander or something. <laughs> like, or Singleton. Are you kidding me? Wow. Just freaking wow. Unbelievable. Wow. 
Okay, that, or we're, we're gonna... Yes, go this way. No, we're not gonna wake any of that up. Just attack in the air. Keep the rest for defenders. Keep flooding with little tokens. Uh, yeah, I guess we just play it out. Why, why bother keeping it? I was gonna say, and hope they don't get exactly what they need. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they just top deck? Look at the goddamn top decks. When have they drawn a land, right? Oh, they have enough land, so the deck, the game is just giving them what the good, good stuff, good spells. What is it we getting? Oh, more, more land. What? See what I mean? Wow. Like, just wow. Just incredible. Absolutely inexcusable. <laughs> like, wow. They have three blockers. We can attack with what? Five, six, seven. Block one of these, it would be three plus five is eight. And they just block others. Four. Maybe. I don't know if this is enough. But there's no way we're winning any other way, so. Everybody to face. <laughs> Well, those are three, yeah, and then we got four. That's enough, four. They're not gaining any life. Only when the meat hit tr triggers go. So that does damage to us, right? That'll do one hit to us. They won't gain life from that and they're still taking not eight. Where was I getting eight? I thought there was eight in there somewhere. Maybe I counted this guy down here. It's one shy. I will get what I want. Do what I demand. So next turn, if we just attack all, oh, we don't even need our vehicles. Yo! Oh my god, really? They do have one more card draw, yeah, of course. How come I don't get the people who give up so easily? Your hand and shuffle, so it's just the planes. Yes! We don't even need our vehicles, just attack with what we have in the field. Oh man! Wow! Okay. Yeah, because I have no one or two drops. Unacceptable. Wow, that's a pathetic way to lose rank. Wow. Okay, so there where they were. Um, I know, like, I didn't... I did win a few of those games, I know. They were long and <laughs> frustrating, which is my whole point. Like, what the heck? Like, I have so many things to crew our vehicles and handle what our opponents have. It's like, what the heck? Why is this, this deck not work better? I'm honestly thinking, uh, like I said in the intro, I am honestly thinking that some of these uh, counter spells, they do often just sit there for a long time until I finally find the, the chance to actually make use of them and cast them. Um, but yeah, just drop into the two disruption protocols, dropping these two for either one more mech and one more bank buster or two more bank busters. You know, they do have that card draw in them, which is really, really is critical. We don't really have any other card draw in this deck. No, we don't at all, none. Just the Reckoner bank buster. So maybe that's something else we could think of more is how to get more card draw. Uh, and you know, Reckoner bank buster is definitely a good one for that. So uh, let me know what y'all think. Let me know, some, you know, comment down below and uh, let me know what, what your most frustrating days have been. And yeah, this one was a, this one was a rough one for me. <laughs> um, so I hope you at least enjoyed the video a little bit, got a kick out of it. Uh, I know this conclusion has been very quick too. 
don't know what else to say. Uh, again, just let me know your thoughts and ideas on this deck. Um, any modifications you think might make it better. What am I missing? Like, what am I missing? I, I, artifacts, enchantments, like creatures, other things, like non-land things, right? Like, oh my god, we can deal a bunch of damage to something. Or play, like, what am I missing? Go to freaking board way. <laughs> what am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? <sighs> Why? Anyways, why is it so frustrating to win with this deck? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Again, I've said that like three times. I think I'll let y'all go. <laughs> and uh, have a great day. Hope to see you all at the next video. And uh, cheers.